Today I want to show you guys something. A book I was reading called Give Yourself Credit. Money doesn't grow on trees. And that's a definite fact. Now, let me take you to this part here. That sparked my attention. So when you get these presentments in the mail, you can do something that you call acceptance for value, return to sender. So now we're going to get into it. As you can see right here, Septus for value, return to sitter. Write a stat at an angle on the top part of the statement so it will stand out. So for rollover accounts, you can do this right here. For accounts you want to close, you can do this. Now see right there where it says FRB routing number and bond number. Those are numbers that are located on your social security card. So what you will see on the social security card, if you turn over the social security card and the back of the social security card, there's going to be some red numbers. That is considered your bond number. The FRB routing number is right here. See that? The FRB routing number is the number of the Federal Reserve Banks from the index below. See that there? So what you're going to do is when you get these presentments, I can give you an example because I did one myself. You're going to set it up something like this here. See that? And what you're going to do is it's another book where a certain way you can present it to them. This is called the Uniform Commercial Code. See that? Now I want to take you to a specific section. Tender of Payment. UCC 3-603. Now check this out. If a tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, the effect of tender is governed by principles of law applicable to tender of payment under a simple contract. If tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument and the tender is refused, there is discharge to the extent of the amount of the tender. Of the obligation of the endorser or accommodation party having a right of recourse with respect to the obligation to which the tender relates. So even if they tell you no people, which as you can see, if refused, it's still discharged. Because what you have to understand is they can't tell you, yeah, they're discharging it actually on paper because now it's exposing their fraud. So for the people who don't know how to open their mind and don't understand the concept of this and are programmed to certain things in life and don't, you know, get it. They just don't have an open mind. They program to what they see on the media and everything else that they're told. They're not going to understand this. But for those of you who like to expand and open your mind and see things in a different light, here you go. If tender payment of an amount due on an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, the obligation of the obligor to pay the interest after the due date on the amount tendered is discharged. If presentment is required with respect to an instrument and the obligor is able to and ready to pay on the due date at every place me tender of payment on due date to the person entitled to enforce the instrument. And this is all coming from law books showing you how to do these things. 
So when you get presentments in the mail, this is one way of tendering payment. You know, Federal Reserve notes, the paper instruments, the dollar bill, the stuff we get, that's not real money. Rather you want to believe it or not, like I said, if you're willing to open your mind, try it out. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first did this, I was a little scared, but I tried it out and I got results. I did it with student loan payment. And um, now when I check my credit report, being that I used it and sent it in, now on my credit report, it states that I'm making payments on time. All because I use this. So, there you have it. You gotta understand, we don't own nothing. Like, how can you pay something with money? Something that they call money, Federal Reserve notes, that we don't own. And my whole thing is, if we don't own it, and we work for it, and we have to wait for them to present this stuff to us, after we done work, bust out tails at work or whatever it is you do and you wait for that paycheck to come, right? How come they give you the money, the quote unquote money, and then ask for it back? Think about that, people. If you owe the IRS or you owe whoever, why not take it before you give it to me? I don't own it anyway and you claim I owe, so take it but there you have it people just want to show y'all a way how to discharge some debt um show you all again what i did and it's different ones you can use you got uh house joint resolution let me see if you can see that see hd y'all 192 of 1933, house joint resolution. You also have another one you can use, USC uh, 12411. And you also have the one I just showed you, tender payment. UCC 3-603. And that's the one that I just read to you. And this is a way of offering a presentment and getting your credit up. So there you have it. I'm out.